All right, let's go. Well, let's talk with Popo Amavai. Did I get that? How close was it? It was, it was close. I like it. It's, it's Amavai. Amavai. All right, I like it. Uh, junior or senior. Actually, you're getting ready to graduate, but because of last year, you're going to get an extra year. So it was a tough year. Talk about that a little bit. How how how'd you guys get through that together? Um, kind of like you said, uh, it was it was a tough year, just like it was on everybody. Um, I think people took it differently from different extents, whether it was it was harder or some people even liked being by themselves. But um, I know quite a few of the teammates and a lot of us took took it pretty hard just because we were away from our family for so long. We weren't allowed to see anybody after the game. It was straight to the airplane. Um, just, I mean, even here we were kind of in our own little bubble. Go home, come back, train. It was, it was, it was tough. So, and I don't think fans realize how much of a role they play in your games. You guys live off that energy, and you didn't have them last year. That 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 affected you guys a, a lot. I mean, Austin is known. Um, it's it's a different crowd when you're in there. Um, it helps a lot. And I, like you said, the fans don't understand how much they bring to the table and give us energy and also take away from our opponents as well. You talk about energy, I love watching you play. Let me ask you what, what you consider to be your best part of your game. What, what's what's the thing you do best? Um, personally, I believe I just, just come do my 111, uh, wh- whatever it may be. Um, whatever I'm asked, you know, I'll do whatever I can, work my, work my butt off to get it done. Um, and yeah. I'll take that. That's all you're going to ask of anybody. Uh, redshirt, your first year, a redshirt freshman, you played seven games. Um, actually, I guess you did redshirt your first year, didn't you? Then you played your next year. How does that work? So my first year, I came in, had surgery on both my shoulders. Um, next year, played a couple games, kind of like you said, and then Rose Bowl here hit, and that's kind of where I got into the role of things. Got my weight up. I was finally doing well in the weight room learning from Fat Mac and Austin and them, even though they were the same class as me, um, having people play and pick their brain and their game and all that uh, helped a lot. And Rose Bowl year was, was a big year for me um, just because it was kind of the year where I was really thrown into the mix a lot. Um, and I, I really liked that situation. And last year was kind of tough. Missed my first two games doing due to contact tracing. I lost 20 pounds in the in the hotel. A lot of people don't know that, and that was a lot. That was a struggle for me. Um, just kind of coming back, losing my gains, trying to get back in and mix things. Didn't really feel right until the bowl game is when I felt I was kind of getting back in and mix things. But that was too late. Um, definitely don't want that to happen this year. So, so you're really looking forward to this year. I mean, this is the this is the go year. This is this is the year. It's it's, it's definitely personal for not only myself but the 2021 Ducks as well, and I'm excited to see what we bring to the table. When you were in high school, did you go both ways, offense, defense? I mean, a lot of guys do in high school. You end up on the defensive line. That's a, defensive mentality is different than the offensive mentality. Uh, when you're in defense, it's, you just want, you want to take somebody down, don't you? I just want to take someone's head off every time. <laughs> I mean, like you said, played both sides in uh, high school, uh, but I was blessed to be able to choose when I got here defense or offense and I chose defense just because I feel like I have that dog in me and I like that feeling when I'm tackling somebody you can't tackle someone on offense it's legal so who's your favorite coach you got to be the guys coaching you favorite coach now like my yeah. on defense uh I mean or is it fair to even pick one I don't, I mean, know, if <laughs> I don't know if it's fair I don't you know I mean, you know they watch these I don't want to get yelled at so but I mean all the coaches are great um just bringing in all these other coaches, these new coaches as well, learning from where they came from and who they've coached. It's just it's great to pick each coach's brain and learn. You guys come back with a with a pretty good returning group, veterans, experience, but but the recruiting has been very good for Coach Cristobal. He's bringing in some big guys, some fast guys. You don't need to talk about anybody individually, but just in general, uh, some of the new talent coming in. How? How ready in your eyes are they able to play? Do you think you see guys contributing in their first year this year? Oh, most definitely. Um, kind of like you said, with the new guys and new talent, our D, like we brought in Keanu, Jason. I, I truly believe that they will be ready to contribute this year. Those guys are fast learners. They're big and strong. Mikhail, all of them. I mean, you've got some size on the D-line for the future to come. You were uh, 
you were highly recruited. A lot of people wanted you. You're a big guy. You're fast. You, you, you offer everything that a coach or a staff could want. As you look back on your career now, you just talked about that tough year last year. A lot of people went through it. But um, are you happy, satisfied? In fact, I don't even want to ask you if you're happy because I don't think you're here if you're not. But why Oregon? What made you come to Oregon? Um, I grew up an Oregon fan. I mean, I watched the games with my dad when I was a little kid um, on those Saturdays. And when I knew, when I came here, took a visit, it was my, first, my only visit. I fell in love. I, was, I knew this is a place to be, and this is where I wanted to play college football and get my degree from. And so was, I chose Eugene. So. And so glad you did, my man. Um, you big guy. I always ask all the big guys. Food's got to be a major part of your life. Before we get to the food, though, um, school, practice, but then uh, a life of leisure. At some point, you got to enjoy a little something. What do you do in your free time? I'm a huge video game person. Um, I'm starting my stream up as well, um, but I also like to uh, go play basketball sometimes, shoot some hoops with the guys. And I started golfing, like like the going to the range. It's, it's hard, but it's something to try differently. I mean, it's, it's a cool thing to get into. So, hey, you're young uh, and you're athletic, so golf will come easy. To, you'll be you'll be good before you know it. Uh, let's talk about food. Uh, you have roommates? Are you guys have roommates on the team? I do have roommates. I have uh, Mikhail Afaese, who's a freshman D-line. Uh, kind of took him under my wing, and Cam McCormick. So, you guys share the cooking duties? I mean, who's the best cook? So the best cook, I would say, is Mikhail. He's from, from Hawaii. He cooks all of the, the shrimp and the, the Hawaii, he has the Hawaiian barbecue sauce. All these, his mom ships in all these snacks. And so he just whips it up and they will let him do his thing. And we'll clean, I clean up just because it's so good. You'll, you'll do all the cleaning as long as you can get all the free eating, huh? The free food. I don't have to cook anything. I'll clean everything, so. All right, if I was to ask you, what are you looking to or forward to most this year? What what can you not wait to happen this year? Um, I'm just ready to get going. Um, like I said, I'm excited for the 21, 2021 Ducks go. I know we've all been putting a lot of work in, and um, I'm excited to see the progress as we take during camp and just ready to get it going September 4th. Popo, it's fun for us to talk about you, to throw that name out there when you make a play. Uh, here's to making a lot of plays this year, having a great year, and we'll be where we're supposed to be in the end, thanks to your play. I appreciate the time talking to you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you.